Rescue mission day three. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, we finished the cave. Uh, the Sub-Zero Sauna. We got two more captains, party members, castaways. I don't know what they're called. People! We're building up our city, and we're going to talk to them. Oh, but first, you. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot more Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. Mission complete. What's our goal next? Oh, we also learned that Ultra Spicy Spray Flowers no. Pikmin. But you can't really be dead, right? This world needs more flowers. Please, more flowers. More flowers. Just, just more of them. <laughs> more flowers. You rescued all three of them. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough. I'm actually rich. I have so much plastic, which is the currency of this planet. Apparently, I guess that makes sense. That's like the only thing that humanity is going to leave behind is just a layer of plastic. I, I'm disappointed with myself for being such an unreliable supervisor. But I can take responsibility now for getting my students back safe. Oh yeah, I'm not a child. I very much seem like a child. Hi, yeah. Uh, uh, are you from this planet? No? Uh, okay. So, then does that mean you must be in the rescue corps? That's so awesome. I'm Kaya. I came here with my high school's planetary science club. I'm a high schooler. What? <laughs> but things have not gone according to plan. Our ship malfunctioned, and yeah, we were able to escape, but it was a big flustery mess, and that's not even the half of it. It is I, yes, the famous Vonda. You must be Jeff, is that right? A little birdie on the research task force told me it was you who rescued me. Oh, I'm so, f so sorry, lovely. I seem to be overwhelmed with emotion at the thought. I don't know how to express, express my gratitude. For once, no plastic. You're actually just useless. Memory fragment. Left edge. Do I see a face in this picture fragment? Is that part of a smile? I... I see. No, it couldn't be. Or could it? Oh my. I feel like I'm going to see whatever it is in my dreams. Mock bottom. What's most impressive about this fruit is the way it's sweet in both flavor and aroma. And appearance. Meanwhile, it's pretty pinkish orange coloring is lovely to behold. Of course, one can't ignore the shapely curves reminiscent of... Ahem. <clears throat> Good manners dictate I say no more. To suffice to say, the mock bottom is quite a sensory experience. Crimson Banquet. This thing is enormous. It's the size of an asteroid with its hard, striped skin. And it's not very inviting. So what a surprise it was to find that its insides are bursting with crimson juice. And seeds, too. Plant these in the garden, and maybe more tasty asteroids will grow. Heroine's Tear. When you lay eyes upon the elegant tear shape of this fruit, it may just bring a tear to your own eye. The perfection of it makes everything else in life somehow seem less perfect. Then, when you taste how perfectly sweet it is, prepare to weep with joy. True goo. Some say this hue is the absence of all colors. Others say, in fact, it is all colors combined. I, for one, believe both are true. No, I don't know the whys and hows of it, but I do know this color goes nicely with every every other color out there. And that must mean something. Contem contemplation Station. When one comes upon this landmark, one can't help but contemplate how many things. First, what is this figure contemplating? Moreover, what should I be contemplating? Open your mind to big questions like these, and you're sure to contemplate great things. Lamp of Inspiration. This lamp is the very de definition of inspiring, with the figure of a proud woman holding a torch on high. It not only lights up a room with its glow, but lights up the spirits of those who glaze gaze upon it. Giant's Fossil. This fossil is all that remains of a heroic giant from ancient times. He was known for showing compassion to not only allies, but enemies. As we contemplate his revered visage, we should let his past benevolence act as a guide for our own behavior today. Ring of Return Shield See how this shield is engraved with the image of a massive ringed planet. In ancient times, the ring was thought to be a curse that caused space travelers to forever wind up right back where they began. 
but nowadays the ring has come to represent a joyful return home after a long journey. It was also customary to give this shield to someone you love, in the hopes it would bring them back to you safely. Bright Sword This sword's sunny sparkle is sure to catch the eye of your opponent during battle, and that is your chance, as they blink away the brightness, thrust the pointy end at their weak spot, and finish them. Cowardly, that's up to you. History is written by the victor. Death and commentary. Two things I didn't expect to find. The Arctic Cannon be lava. Whether or not there's snow on the ground when this surprising sweetie duck comes around, you can have a snowball fight anytime. But don't expect it to go easy on you. You're in for a one-sided defensive battle, and you might end up looking like a snowman by the end. Arctic Cannon Beetle, which I think... Look at this thing. Is this not pretty, in a way? Oh, it even... Ooh! Look at the, look at the rainbow sheen on it! Wait, does the other one have that too? No. No? Not really. That's pretty. It has this pearlescence about it. I love it. A beautiful armored bug that sparkles like a diamond. Ah, so that's intentional. The sight of it busy, busily tromping along. The way it sucks in air and spews out snowballs. Everything about it is remarkable. While standing transfixed by its stunning appearance, you'll end up covered in snow for sure. And I wonder if this could have actually killed anybody. Hmm. Ice Blown Dweevil. Thank you for not calling it just the Ice Dweevil. Or the Hydro Dweevil. Or the Venom Dweevil. This one is a little bit, you know... It, it lives up to the standards of Pikmin 2. Achoo! It, uh, it's always important to keep your cool, but my proximity to this frosty darling may be making me a bit too... cold. Just one blow from this critter as it skitters about on its icy long legs is quite chilling indeed. And look even. Burgers are not meant to be eaten cold. Truly, this is a monster beyond reckoning. Chili Hop. You know what? Chili Hop, Wally Chig, Wally Chill. Let's see, w Wog Chill? This is, I'm kind of okay with the name change now because I don't think it would have worked with the old one. Slick and bulbous with a refreshingly frank face. That's one classy hopper. When it lands after jumping, it spills out cold air all around it. Mischievous and cool, this little fella needs needs to leave some personality for the rest of us. Also, it's from the Amphituber family. Is that true of all of wait, is that true of all of them? That's that's funny. I don't know. Just because of YouTube, that's it and uh, that's amusing to me. I care less about the the defensive abilities or the uh, the hit point abilities of of my captain, uh, and more about the fact that all of these hazards are are crowd control. They they keep me locked down while I'm losing Pikmin, and so that is no longer an issue. I think Ochi's offensive capabilities are strong enough that I can take a little break from upgrading them, especially considering what this what this exploration, uh, what the, today's exploration has to offer. He can swim faster, and maybe, and he can swim even faster. Let's just do that. He's now actionable. Yeah, he's actionable now. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Serene Shores. Let's go back. Da 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 do. All we need this time, that bridge is is underwater. I think all we need is blue. A hundred blues. Oh wait, sorry, seventy blues. That's what I meant. Uh, where? Oh, okay. Ochi, you have a task, and I'm not even sure if it's worth doing, but I think it'll it'll end up pay, paying dividends. Uh, switch. 
I need you to go to the summit of the castle and pluck Pikmin. And then come back. Sorry, bud. Actually, is there anything he can be doing on the way? Have we gone here? I don't think we have. I don't think we have, because I don't think pots respawn. So, Ochi, uh, wait, 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 command. Command. Come here. Come back. Okay, well, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna take... That's enough. Uh, oh my word. Pikmin, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you're smart, but you're really dumb. <laughs> okay. Try that again. You are going to go to the top of the castle with some Pikmin this time. And then Jeff is going to go... Ah, I can go through that. Let's go around the edge first. Ugh, there's so many different ways we can go here. And they all seem scary. There's just something about this area. I don't know what it reminds me of. Maybe... I think it reminds me of the distant spring. There's just something threatening about this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, but it's beautifully threatening. There's a banana over there. Bananas are supposed to float. Excuse you. Kind of cool if there were floating treasures. One, two, three. Switch. Okay, you have the Pikmin. Good job. Now, I need you to go... There. What did I just hear? Okay, no one knows I'm here yet. I, I love this. Oh. This makes blue Pikmin feel worth it. In the era of... of... flying Pikmin... Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Good job. In the era of flying Pikmin just being... you know, uh, uh, flying over water, ice Pikmin swimming over it, it's nice to see an environment that really leans into Blue Pikmin's strengths like never before. We're so far underwater. No, ooh, it's a floor like, yes. No other Pikmin comes close to being useful here. This is their strong suit. This is what they were meant to do. And all you need to do is increase the depth. And it's just, it's such a vibe. It's just a great vibe. Hearing the muffled noises, the little bit of distortion on the screen, the rippling of the water, it's calming. All its own. Go. Pre-throw. Whistle. We're good. And this should do it. I'm glad that I learned through my mistake that I don't need to worry about, uh, don't need to worry about carrying them back. Or, I, sorry, I don't need to worry about whistling them back when it's about to die. Okay, uh, they're annoying. He's strong. But they're everywhere he's not. Go. Kill. Switch back, just for a moment. I think they can handle themselves. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that's a water jump hole. Watch my Pikmin counter. I don't think it, it really matters. I think they got it. That said, the Puff, they're, yeah, they're dead. Puff for fish is still there. Ten Pikmin, huh? Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Good job. Those things don't have that much HP. Um, first off, let's call my idols. And... They're not doing anything right now. Let's set them on this. And then we can wait. Cool. Switch back to Ochi. Make good use of my time. It's kind of sweet that, uh, you know, all my Pikmin are so far away. Uh, we're gonna set... Eesh, that's a lot. One, two, three. Just that. I think three. And then whatever excess I have, I'll, I'll set them on it. But for now... I don't think I was supposed to get, uh, get up here. I think I needed to freeze this. But it worked. Got some dice. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. I can now take out 80 Pikmin. One, two, three, or one, two. There we go. We got the dice. Take this back. We're still trying to sprout some Pikmin. 
And we're good. Okay, let's, uh... One, two, three. I think that should be enough. Oh, actually. Three more. Take care of this. Get the spray, which I knew was in there. Grab the five pellet posy, and then we'll head back to the base. Get some more Pikmin. Because we can carry more. Or we can we can take out more. Uh zoom out. Base is over there. And then Ochi can grab this. There's also, it looks like to be a um Dandori challenge, which it's been a long time since we've done one. Where do you guys come from? There's a banana up there. I don't know how to get it. How do I get the banana? Can I have them swim up there? I don't know how I get that. Oh, I know how. I know how. I need Ochi for that. I need to swim on top of the water. Okay, that's that's a neat use for Ochi to have. I'm up here now. What is actually... Is there a cave? Apparently. Ah, there it is. There's a cave. And it's... Is that gray? The lid's gray. Why is the lid gray? That's... It's never been gray up until this point. Well, I'll be able to handle all of that. Um, how do I want to do this? I don't want to have all 80 Pikmin here. Let's do this. Oh, this is, this is a good idea. Jeff, actually, what is going on with Jeff? Is he just standing out there waiting? Because he can't do anything right now. Okay, yeah, he can't do anything right now. So, we're gonna have Ochi... ...go fight this. And then... I can enter that cave. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Command. I forgot. I forgot the plot. I forgot the plot. I need Ochi for a moment. In fact, Ochi... Let's just trade positions. Yeah, let's just trade positions. Jeff's time is here. Here is done. And it's now Ochi's time. What are you doing, Ochi? Let's just let's just run. I don't know why he was kind of stop starting there. And this way we can not go there yet. We need the bridge. Okay, Jeff is over there. Uh, you go here. Wrong button. Come on. Wrong. There we go. And then Jeff... Just perform a little switcheroo. And miss a Pikmin. That was a base. Cancel. And this is... Yeah, this is how we're supposed to do it. Which is good that I, I literally had seconds to do this. I, had, I quite literally had seconds to get this done. I'm kind of surprised that's all that's up here. Very pretty, though. Right up. Actually, wait, can we see the house? No. Okay, so it's not necessarily, they're not necessarily in the same locale. Uh, Ochi? Go over there. Switch. And we're, we're tag teaming. Oh, yeah, it's the whip tongue. That's right. Throw him. Wait. Swarm. He's always inundated with Pikmin. And he's dead. With minimal casualties. More Pikmin lost. Yeah, big what? And then we have you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Die. Later. Peace. Okay, come on, guys. Half day. I guess I didn't have seconds. I had like a eh, solid minute, I think. Tide is down, and if you looked in the background, the tide did not go down, so I guess I didn't... <gasps> oh, that's pretty! I... I mean, it's obviously the, the Ocarina of Time player, lover that I am. I've always wanted to have an Ocarina, but that's a gorgeous one. Aha, hello. You squid eyes. Hey, there's another one. Come. It is Dendori time. 
It's me, Dan Dory. All right, Jeffrey. Time to show off your skills. Your Dan Dory skills to that leafling, Jeff. Are we just going? I think we're switching. I think we're switching and then we're gonna try and go in both caves. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, because this is just here. Any blues for this? Can Ochi Ochi can dig? He can! What is that? What is this? We'll get this in a moment. Come on. Come on. Not yet. Pretty. Why do I feel like this is like boss time? I probably shouldn't have pulled them both! I probably should have pulled them both! Wrist crap! Die, son! Chomp! Do a lot of damage! Probably not the best way for me to have done this! But it worked, I guess. Kind of. Okay. Come on, guys. To me. More fish sauce or soy sauce. We, there was a very good discussion on that. I'm kind of tempted to bomb rock this thing, but that, that's the easy button. You know what? One moment. You guys do this. This is odd. I'm going to try something. Jump. That works. Uh, oops, ow. Get up. That didn't work! Ooh. Okay, fine, we'll do this the normal way. It looks like I could actually swarm the Pikmin up it, and I don't need to throw them. But this way I kind of get to free throw. And that's, as, as established, the way to fight these. Although maybe swarming because they get there sooner? Maybe. Oh, I could have kept them on. And die. Peace. One, two, three. And we have the treasures, and we're back up here. That's a shortcut. Uh, let's call our idols, because 11 is not going to cut it. Although it might. Could it cut it? It. I think it's going to cut it. Yeah, it's going to cut it. One, two, three, sure, whatever. Do do your job there. It's actually going to cut it. Oh, wait, no, it won't cut it, because we need to carry both the pearly clam plant back. I'm trying to get above 100. That was my mission. And I can with this. You deal with that. And Ochi, I have enough. Ochi doesn't need to carry the, that back. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Ochi's just going to get ready to go into the cave. Um, which, actually, I don't think he can go in that cave, because he can't get to it. So, I think I... Uh, he's close enough, we're going to give it a shot, but I, I think I already know the answer to that. Dandori Cave, and then Ochi. This wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was going to take me a while to conquer this, but it's, it's largely empty space, and I can't. Pluck those Pikmin Sprouts yet. Okay, so we're gonna go into this cave first, because the other one... Actually, let's let's measure this. They're about equidistant from each other. That I still need to go into, but I think I can. Yeah, let's go into this cave first. And is there anything else that we missed? Oh, there's a gate here. How many Pikmin do I have with me? 21? Yeah, we'll deal with that in a mo- in a moment. Let's, yeah, let's do this. Since I have them split, Jeff is going to go... I don't have that much time, though. I think I... I am I think I probably... I think the ship has sailed on me going into both caves because the countdown will happen. So, I guess we're going to go into... Ugh. Yeah, I'm... I think I, ha I extended this to a third day inadvertently. Oh, well. That's... It is what it is. Okay, you deal with this. I mean, we were at 60, 68%, so it's not like we're at 90% and we have to close out the, the last 10. Uh, I want some... 
I want some pale, some sky Pikmin. I can call them sky Pikmin. That's that's a uh, pretty close to the color they are. Thirty. And set the blues on that. And then we'll freeze this. I took the exact amount I needed. Perfect. Get this done. We need more plastic. So that will do that. Again, pick the exact right amount. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's... I can't... Can I throw, pick, I can't throw ice out of that. I'll need to get more... That's a good. Unless there are some in here. Then I might get lucky. That's plastic. Okay, switch back to, back to Ochi. About near the, at the end of the day, but I think I've handled it pretty well. I've split my party in a good way. Come on. Kill him. Good job. Don't need you to carry that back. Okay, then we're gonna deal with you. I think because Ooh, that killed him fast. Okay, making it work. One, two. boom. And this one is gonna be one deal. Go on, Ochi. Since you can breathe underwater now, because that's how dogs work. We're gonna have to deal with this tomorrow with more ice. I'm just going to destroy this for now, just to save us a little bit of time. And then we're going to go... Since we've had a full day leading up to this, we'll just do the Dandori challenge. It's it's short, it's quick, because I don't think the other the other cave is not a Dandori challenge. And then we'll carry this back as far as we can until he gets to that cave, which is in just a moment. The go here mechanic is really great for some of these complex maps where you don't exactly know, like you you don't have it memorized. Very useful. Great addition. Test tubes. Collect all the treasures and creatures within the time limit. Rock and blues are present. No need for introductions, I see. Who you are. Through Dandori. Show me your Dandori. And we're just jumping right into it. Okay, what am I doing? There is a gate there. We're gonna sick Ochi on that. Uh, I have rock Pikmin, so what requires rocks? Let's deal with this. Flower my Pikmin while Ochi clears the way. And then I think I might split the party between... Yeah. Ochi, I'm going to dis disband all but blues. Switch to you. I could be throwing them across, but I can also just walk across. Uh, you guys deal with that. Ooh, I think Rock Pikmin can be killed here because it's a solid surface. That's what I've been told. Careful, not super useful. There. Okay. But they can't carry things across. This is definitely, this is a spike in difficulty for sure. Oh, Ochi didn't finish this. Okay. Um, I don't have that many Pikmin here to, in, to my name, but I will now. Switch. Yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a whole thing. Get my blues. They're going to be responsible for carrying that back. Um, you guys get that. Get that. Just kind of make sure it's safe. Make sure it's safe. You kill him. And I think I unite the two par two parties for a moment. Um, we're going to... Get this done. And just do a little bit of preamble here. I almost think this is not going to be one that I clear on my first go. You can dig, so you're going to dig. Uh, deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with that. I don't know why the swarm mechanic didn't work there. Just throw two. That's all we need. Throw this across. I have exactly enough to deal with both of these. That has five. 
I did, in fact... I thought I mapped that out. Oh, no, I did. I did. Go. There you go. Good job. I did math that out in my head, because I, I remembered how much those took, and I, I literally thought that through. Okay. All the Pikmin are being used right now, which is great. That's exactly how we want to do this. Do this, and I just completed half of this in one go. That's exactly how I want this to go down. Oh. Um, that stinks. I accidentally whistled one of them. I think he can do that. We might end up having to clean that up at the end, but for now, just carry on as though nothing happened. Rock steal with that. Um, jump on Ochi just so I can. I don't have to split my party. One, two, three, four. Just get that done a little bit quicker. More rocks. Which look like they're a pretty good matchup against a Arista Crab. Um, get off so I can swarm. Bunch of blues. I'm guessing pulling that is going to drain it. If I had to hazard a guess. Nope. Okay. Make sure I throw the right Pikmin. Uh, get off. Swarm that. Deal with that. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Deal with that instead. There. Nice. And then, two minutes left, but I'm I'm pretty confident here. Those. That's a lot. We're gonna swarm that. And then have the rocks deal with the the sponge. Which I don't think they can. I think I need 15 for that, don't I? Seven. Perfect. One, two. Go here. Oh yeah, we're almost done. Go back to base. Yeah, no, we perfected this. Not a problem. Is Ochi needed for this? He is. That stinks. Okay. That's fine. Jeff can. He can then deal with the rest of this. I'll just make a little circle. Swarm my blues onto that. Swarm. Go to the other one. Swarm that as well. And then whichever Pikmin he have, has remaining, he's going to go here to the other one. Oh, he will not have any. Go. Uh, we're gonna switch. Ochi is there. And he'll have some Pikmin left to work on that. Oh, he has a lot of Pikmin left to work on that. Nice. Yeah, this is, this is, this is basically, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, dismiss. Dig, Ochi. Uh, Jeff, go back to base. Oh, it just drained it. Oh, that stinks. I suppose I could have predicted that. Uh, they're actually going to get that. Oh, they're not going to get it done. I'm so... Oh, they, they are. They are. They are. Dash. Uh, we're going to switch to Jeff. He has to get this done. And I did pick the right direction. I'm going to have to whistle him. Or throw him across. Oh, but they're not going to be able to carry it in time. No! My hopes and dreams are on those Pikmin! Oh, So close to perfecting it. If I had four more seconds, I would have done it. So literally whistling that one rock Pikmin at the very start, that doomed me. Oh well. Not bad. But definitely something I'll clean up tomorrow morning. So incredible. I feel dizzy. Here. Take this. Those are some incredible Dendori skills. All right, get him out of here. Oh, he's here. Oh. Um. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But that doesn't matter. It is our job to rescue them, baby. I don't know why it keeps insisting I take purples. Like, is that because of the Hydro Melon? I, I have no idea. Okay, whites, deal with that. Good job, whites. Or not, okay. Alright, 
Um, we could go into the other cave. I think I'm going to be content with not doing that. Just because we will have to spend another day here for sure. Okay, that, that's not a mound. I don't think that's a mound that we need to dig up. I'll escort them back. I don't think they'll make it in time, though. Well, they might. Can you gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. I probably should have swarmed whites on him. Checking the leafling's ID, which there is none. I don't know why I'm surprised. I wonder what that barcode reads at the very top of the screen. Hmm. I think they are fine except for this one. Alright. Uh-oh. Where is the last one? I don't think there is one. Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay. Very good. Pluck these, pluck these, pluck these. I almost threw them out of bounds. <laughs> no, we're good. One more day left to be spent in the Serene Shores. One cave, a couple of uh, above ground treasures, but all within our grasp, very easily obtainable. And I can't help but wonder what that final cave will be. One leafling. And I think we have a cure on hand. That's such a beautiful ocarina. 920. Hey, we're above 300! Yeah! Sprouted 106 today! Sick! Listen, I've been wondering about something. If creatures are more aggressive at night, not to mention more terrifying with those creepy red eyes, how aren't we dead yet? Just stay inside the spaceship, and you'll have no problem at all. And even if we are attacked, we'll just be fine as long as Dingo is here, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, why is he roping me into this? True, that's very reassuring to hear. Dingo will keep us all safe. Thank you for your efforts, Dingo. Uh, no problem, Trevor. Happy to help. Uh, uh, great, there's no getting out of this now. Tomorrow, back to the three and shores. There's a known quantity of, you know, all the tre all the above ground treasures, but there's a big unknown of a gray lidded cave. Who knows what that might bring? See you in the morning. Can't wait. <laughs>